Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to take a moment just to go over um, what can lead to a uh, transformer blowing or a fuse blowing. Um, and this really doesn't have anything to do with a short, but it has to do with a stuck uh, relay or a stuck contactor. So I've got a 24 volt contactor here, and uh, it's being fed by a 40VA transformer, a um, little two pole contactor. And I've got, I'm checking amperage on my low voltage, and I've got voltage. So I've got a, a lead here coming off one side of my coil and what would be normally be my Y signal uh, coming off the other side to my other lead. So I'm checking my voltage, which is 28, which is a little high, I know, but um, usually it's about 24 to 28. But, uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you what the amperage is on this coil when I energize it. So the contactor is energized, and we're pulling about 0.28 to 9 amps. So that's what we're pulling off that 0.3 when that coil is energized. And our voltage dropped to 27.4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a contactor that is that doesn't pull in all the way. That is stuck. So it's not going to pull in. Now, um, and this has to do with the inductive reactance of the coil. Uh, and the um, iron um, bar that goes around the coil. So what we're going to do is I'm going to energize that and I want you to notice the amperage. So we're pulling 1.17 and my voltage dropped down to 25. Now I have seen these contactors where when they're stuck they will pull a lot higher than that. And it will be high enough that it will blow a 3 amp fuse or it'll blow the transformer if it is not, um, if, it is, if it is only a 40 VA transformer. So to kind of give you an idea of what's acceptable for a transformer amperage, uh, this one is a 40 VA transformer. And uh, so basically the VA is wattage, volt amps, which is wattage. So a 40 VA transformer, if you divide the secondary voltage into it, which is 24 volts, in our case it's 28, um, it's rated for 1.6 amps. So if I'm using 28 volts, it would actually be less than 1.6 amps. So it, it, it doesn't take uh, a lot of amperage to burn up a, a 40 VA transformer. So I just wanted to point that out too. I've seen this happen with small fan relays. I've seen it happen with um, different relays and different contactors. So just be aware of that. If you've got a situation where you've got a transformer that's blowing uh, or a fuse that's blowing and you're not sure what it is, what I always recommend is isolate everything. It's 24 volts at the air handler. And I usually take a uh, pair of jumper wires and I will usually click a fuse to that that generally is, is a 3 amp um, fuse and um, on one side of it and the other side I'll put an alligator clip so I've got that jumper fused and I'll just jumper between my um, my uh, um, run or R, excuse me, my uh, 24 volts R to the G, to the Y, to the W, while I'm checking amperage to see where my short is, and just tapping it. And uh, you'll usually notice it because you'll see a heavier spark, but if you've got your amp probe on it, you'll notice it. And then you can just kind of go to that circuit and isolate it. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.